Is it the right time to buy or sell Palo Alto Network stock? Let's delve deeper into Palo Alto Networks. Our initial report was released on Wednesday, February 28, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with a more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay ahead of any updates that could impact your investments. Optimize your trading decisions with our new AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for over 25,000 companies worldwide today. Keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. Since February 28, 2024, our system has identified Palo Alto Networks as a sell candidate with a score of minus 3.26. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance over this time period. We will closely monitor this evaluation to observe its progression in the coming days. The stock is currently positioned within a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further increase. Over the next three months, there is a forecasted 16.69% change, with a return range of minus 1.63% to 43.14%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, a 64.59% change is projected, with a return range of 37.95% to 99.98%. This equates to a price range of $436.13 to $632.24 after a year. The latest update for Palo Alto Networks highlights the recent downgrade in stock evaluation after the last trading session. On Wednesday, February 28, 2024, the Palo Alto Networks Inc. stock price increased by 0.445%, reaching $316.15 from $314.75. The stock has been on an upward trend for five consecutive days. It will be interesting to observe if this positive momentum continues or if there will be a brief pause in the coming days. Throughout the last trading day, the stock price fluctuated by 2.94%, moving from a low of $307.81 to a high of $316.85. Although the price has seen an increase in 6 out of the last 10 days, it remains down by minus 14.15% for this period. Trading volume decreased by minus 13 million shares on the last day, with a total of 8 million shares traded, equivalent to approximately $2.48 billion. It's important to note that a decrease in volume accompanied by higher prices can indicate divergence and serve as an early warning for potential changes in the near future. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price was $380.84, while the lowest price was $176.30. The current price stands at 16.99% below the 52-week high, which is equivalent to $64.69, and 50.67% below the all-time high on April 20, 2022, when the price peaked at $640.90. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, February 21, 2024, RBC Capital rated PNW as outperform with a hold action. On the same day, BMO Capital also rated PNW as outperform with a hold action. Oppenheimer rated PNW as perform with a hold action on Wednesday, February 21, 2024. KeyBank gave PNW an overweight rating with a hold action on Wednesday, February 21, 2024. Piper Sandler rated PNW as neutral with a downgrade action on Wednesday, February 21, 2024. Analysts have rated Palo Alto Network stock as a general strong buy. The P.E. ratio and price to book ratio both receive a strong buy rating. The return on investment for this stock is also rated as strong buy by analysts. Here are the signals for Palo Alto Networks. Today, the stock shows mixed signals. The short-term moving average suggests a buy signal, while the long-term average leans towards a sell signal. With the long-term average above the short-term average, a general sell signal is indicated, forecasting a negative outlook for the stock. Resistance is expected at $336.46, with support at $301.66. 
A break through the long-term average would signal a buy, while a dip below the short-term average would strengthen the sell signal. Additionally, a sell signal is currently active from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD. A buy signal was initiated on February 21, 2024, resulting in a 20.68% increase thus far, implying further growth until a new peak is reached. Despite price gains, a decrease in volume raises a red flag, suggesting a potential warning signal. Vigilance is advised in monitoring the stock. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, buy signal 6 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 6 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 7 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 5 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 7 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 4 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Palo Alto Networks Palo Alto Networks Inc. has support at $314.75, indicating a potential buying opportunity when this level is tested. The stock exhibits high volatility, with a wide prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, making it a high-risk investment. In the past day, the stock moved $9.04, 2.94%, between its high and low points, while the average daily volatility for the past week was 5.6%. Let's start by discussing the important fundamental data for Palo Alto Networks before we move on to potential trading levels. The price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is a key indicator that compares the company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A high P-E ratio may suggest that the stock is overvalued or that investors anticipate strong future growth. Looking ahead, the next earnings report for Q2 2024 is scheduled for May 28, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $1.26. These figures can have a significant impact on stock prices, so it's important to monitor them closely. Let's delve into potential day trading levels for Palo Alto Networks. In an upward trend, the initial resistance level for Palo Alto Networks stands at $364.50. If you're not currently holding shares, consider waiting for this level to break before taking a position. For existing stockholders, this could be a level worth exploring for swing trading opportunities. On the flip side, Palo Alto Networks faces its first support level at $314.75. Should this support hold, it might present a favorable entry point with the expectation of a bounce back. Palo Alto Networks has received a strong buy rating from multiple analyst sources. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. In the five most recent insider trades, Jenkins William D. Jr. both purchased and sold a total of 1,101 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power stands at a negative ratio of minus 41.013. In the last 100 trades, insiders bought 408,296 shares and sold 976,916 shares. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Palo Alto Networks stock a good buy? Our analysis suggests that Palo Alto Networks Inc. currently shows negative signals and may perform weakly in the near future. We have downgraded our evaluation of this stock from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate due to some technical weaknesses. Upon reviewing the volatility and recent movements, it appears that the current price is overvalued. Looking ahead to trading on Thursday, February 29th, we anticipate Palo Alto Networks to open lower by minus $2.55 at $313.60. Trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It's important to consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Stockinvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. 
By utilizing this information, you are responsible for your own investment actions. Share your thoughts on our current stock view. What target do you have in mind? Feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Wishing you success in your trading endeavors and have a fantastic day from all of us at Stock Invest.